Hey everyone. I just noticed this really cool little creature. <laughs> anyway, can anyone tell me from this kickstand, this shifter, this foot peg, what kind of machine this is? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> um, well, let me introduce you. I know I said I wasn't probably going to be getting a bike anytime soon after selling the Honda Super Cub. But I, you know, once you have that bug, you can't really help it. So I still have my puppies, but I did do this. Whoa, what? <laughs> awesome. The 22 Kawasaki Ninja 400. Yep. Sweet. I picked it up, I know, a week ago. And now I'm just making a video. In that week's time, I have placed myself into this awesome windshield. <laughs> No, I put this windshield on. Um, I wanted something darker. The I have the original, so it says Kawasaki right here, and it's clear. But I did put that on. It's a little bit taller. You know, it's nice. Enjoy it. And I am so in love with this bike. It's phenomenal. Oh, and I also have... Um, I had the dealership put on frame sliders... And I had them put on the spools for the swing arms so I can wheel lift it if I want later, if I need to, I guess. And, of course, battery tender. Got to have one of those, I think. Um, so, yeah, it's phenomenal. This bike is incredible. First of all, I <laughs> never, I've never owned um, a sports bike. I had borrowed a 1994 Suzuki Katana <laughs> long ago, and I loved it. it. It was so easy to ride, so easy to drive, because you really don't, you ride it, you drive it, you know, et cetera. So I am just super excited that... I chose this. It took me five months to make that decision because I sat on a ton of bikes. And this one I always came back to. It's so easy, so comfortable. I'm five foot eight, very thin. <laughs> and I can flat foot it um, on this seat. It's not the extended reach, but it's just regular, you know. So yeah, I am, I am thrilled. I am probably gonna change out the baffle because really, you know, it's just going to be a slip-on. It's not going to be anything, you know, it's just going to make a better sound. I'm used to the Harley-Davidson pipes. I had a Sportster with Screaming Eagle pipes on it when I was younger. So this will be cool. Yeah. So the cool things though, I do want to show you really quick. They're, it's such a cool design when you put this key in. There's like a little door, a little flap that goes down into the cylinder. So that flap keeps water away. That little flap right there keeps water away from getting into that cylinder for the key. So cool. Next thing, that's, you can add a DC output. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that probably. So I'll have two USB connections. It'll be like a little flap. I'm sure you've seen them, people put Aftermarket, I'm going to do all Kawasaki as much as possible, um, except for the battery tender and the, the frame sliders and the spools and the windshield are not Kawasaki, but I am keeping the original parts to this bike, of course. Um, and I almost thought about keeping the baffle um, because it's part of the nostalgia of the bike. Um, back in the 90s, that's they were huge. That's what the baffle looked like. But I am going to look at... Um, oh, I'm sorry. I looked at a few different um, 
slip on exhausts and you'll have to see what I picked later. So I'll put that on. It's not hard. I thought it was, but there's no tuning involved. There's, you know, no messing around with that. It's just really for aesthetics and sound. You might get a couple more horsepower. Um, this bike has what, 43, 45 horsepower. Um, pretty awesome. Six gears, uh, has a slipper clutch, which I think is so cool. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to think of the things that people haven't talked about in their videos with the Ninja. Um, yeah, one thing, well, we all know there's a key that goes underneath the bike right here. And when you do that, it pops up your, your seat. So you can wiggle it out. Oh, I just locked it again, of course. Um, yeah, so you can wiggle, wiggle the seat out and underneath. For me, at least, I have my owner's manual, my registration. Um, that's about all that fits under here, honestly. It's not too much space. But um, it's really nice to have it. I am going to probably put a seat cowl cover on this because I do want... Um, I'm not going to be riding a passenger, so... <laughs> I'm not. Um, it's cool to have these, though. I think a lot of people put on, like, pegs for racing. So maybe I could use these if I really want to lay down on the bike. I mean, maybe that's what those are for, really. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I am going to cover this with the original Kawasaki. It's going to match that twilight blue matte color, which I think is gorgeous. I did look at the KRT version edition. And, you know, I did want to keep, like, with the, again, nostalgia of the bike, that lime green, you know, for the Ninja. But I decided not to. I was like, okay, this is a really rare color, kind of. So I know other people have them. Oh, and it is non-ABS. I've always ridden bikes with no ABS. Um, so I did save about three or three hundred, four hundred $400 doing that, which is nice. Um, I love that there's dual LEDs because, of course, when I rode bikes a long time ago, and most of my bikes only had one headlight, which, of course, as you know, is kind of unsafe because it kind of looks like it could be a car with a headlight burnt out, so people don't realize you're a motorcycle and things can happen. So I like that there's dual LEDs. I love the tires are nice. They're Dunlap Sport. I think they're Sport Max or Sport Tracks. Sport Max Q3s. They're nice tires, standard. I'm like, dang, those are sweet. Um, so, yeah, I, I couldn't be, again, more excited. Um, it's just easy to ride. Super easy to ride. Um, so, the other thing is you can lock the steering wheel, blah, blah, blah. Um, sorry, my hand's in the way. <laughs> Um, if you pop out this cap, you can put a phone mount in through that hole that's underneath this cap, which is cool. I think it's cool. Um, yeah, so you can unlock it. Turn on the screen. And I think it's pretty sweet. You got your clock, you got your miles only 19 miles on this um, gas gauge and your temperature. Um, you can also use these two soft buttons to scroll through miles per per gallon, or your, sorry, your trip. So trip A, trip B, and then your odometer. And then the bottom button is your average miles, mile per gallon, I should say, is 37 right now for me. I don't have a range. Nothing yet because I haven't really done much. So <laughs> that'll have to change. And then to set your clock, you just hit, you just hold on to these two buttons, hold down. This will flash for the hour and the minutes, and then you can hit it again to clear it or to solidify the time to, so it doesn't flash. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I mean, this is incredible. So. Yeah, so that's the bike. That's the panel. I like the dash. I like the layout. I like the old school. 
um, tachometer and I was kind of like, I wonder if people are superstitious. Um, I never thought about it. Maybe some car people out there, bike people know this, but you know, they started with the number 12 with the red and I'm like, why didn't they start at 13? Like, is there a reason why I know 10, 11, I know the bike really should only go to like 10 maximum probably. Um, but I'm like, is that superstitious? Is that why they didn't start the red with 13? Because, you know, that's unlucky or something. I don't know. Anyway, the other thing is I know that nobody, I have seen nothing about this on the videos. You're only supposed to drive up to 4,500, or really I've been driving up to four, only 4,000 RPMs for the, for the first 150 miles that you have the bike. You do not want to rev it. Don't want to redline it. Don't want to do anything past. I wouldn't go past five. I'd been at five just to get like maneuver in the, on the road. But yeah, that's something that, that you're not supposed to do is go above that. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to ruin the engine, of course. Um, I am going to be putting on a radiator guard because if you do look down here, I mean, I don't think anything's going to get it up in there because there is the fairing so it should i'm sorry <laughs> not the fairing what is this called the fender that's right say it with me so um the fender should keep rocks from getting thrown up here but i'm gonna put on the kawasaki um radiator cover because i think that'll look cool that's just what i want to do I think the headers are really nice on this. I mean, I think that the pipes are nice and it's nice that I only am going to do a slip on. So that'll be, you know, great. Um, so I'm doing that, doing the radiator, doing this DC plug, going to do the slip on. I'm also going to get a tank pad. I looked at a bunch, a lot of them are just decals, but I'm actually getting like a rubber, like the rubber knee pads on the sides. So it'll be a little bit thicker. It'll like, it won't just be a flat decal, which is cool, but I want something a little more like cushy. Um, and then I'll have a tank pad. And I was gonna get the um, Ninja tank pad, which I still might do. It depends on if this other one ever does come in. Um, it's on back order, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the bike. And that's what I plan on doing with it. I might, I mean, you can get sticker sets for them. Usually they're like 150 to, I don't know, you could probably put it to 350 for a sticker set. But yeah, I really didn't ride too much because I hadn't had these yet. And I just wanted to make sure I had these first before really getting on it. Um, but it moves, that's for sure. 3.6 gallon tank. The other thing I love about these new tanks or at least this tank. I don't know how many other bikes do this at this point because I haven't really ridden any other bikes in a while, um, except for the Super Cub. <laughs> but the gas cap is part of the lid. So you don't have to like put the gas cap off to the side to put gas in it. And of course, there's a sticker that I took off of the tank. It said like, don't fill it up past, you don't ever want to go past that that insert in there so you want to go below that um it could be not good not good at all so yeah it's super easy like i am so excited about that um and i gotta have my my lazy lazy egg sticker or my little keychain it's like a soft it's not plastic it's like soft gudetama i love gudetama oh my gosh like Sanro, like Hello Kitty. Okay, you guys probably don't wanna know about that. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not gonna do a fender eliminator because I actually, okay. I don't love the aesthetics of this. I really don't. But what I do like is that it does stick out a little bit and it does have reflectors. I'm not all about safety, but I am. So I figure that's something else for someone to see. You know, if you don't have it, it's fine. But for me, I'm going to keep it. I wasn't going to. I was going to put on a fender eliminator. I was going to maybe change the light in the back. I mean, maybe I'll do that later if they come out with something that's, I don't know. I've looked at Kamimoto. I've looked at 
the tail tidy or tidy tail. I've looked at a few of them. Uh, Yoshimura makes a really nice fender eliminator. Some of those, are, man, they're like $150. I couldn't believe that. I was like, what? I was like, well, that makes sense because there has to be a mounting area for your old lights or your new ones. Um, and these have a lot of flex to them. I was really surprised because like old bikes that I've had, you know, there was no flex and you, if you bumped them, they were broken. <laughs> you know? So it's all LED, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this and I just want to just, <clears throat> excuse me, share it with you. There's one of my puppies. I don't know how that happened. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know what I think after driving it for a little bit. Oh, there's another puppy two puppies where are these puppies coming from you guys had to like make your appearance yeah they're they're super um they're like you know they want to be famous i guess so i thought you know they thought they would just come in and give a little appearance it's so funny they, they like literally i guess they know how to open up doors now or something so anyway um <clears throat> if you have any questions those are the things I wanted to tell you about, though, the things I went over, because I have not seen videos on these things yet. So, um, yeah, just let me know what you think. I still love Hondas, and I still love the Super Cub, but this is amazing. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.